Well, it's getting late, but Singapore's parliament is still in session discussing public housing. In his closing speech on the debate, National Development Minister Desmond Lee recognises that the country's public housing policy is, quote, far from perfect, and constant improvements are needed to make public housing affordable and accessible for Singaporeans today and tomorrow. By no means are we saying through this motion that all is well and good and that nothing needs fixing, it's a perfect system. As I said in the opening speech and as reported in the papers, our system is far from perfect, but it has achieved through the generations the outcomes that we have laid on the table today. Mr Lee also shared that the tight supply in new flats and spike in resale prices are a recent phenomenon triggered by the pandemic. He said measures to resolve the imbalance include 100,000 new flats made available by 2025, shorter waiting time flats, and two rounds of cooling measures already in place. Besides HDB, Mr Lee said that private developers are also ramping up construction to catch up with delays. He stressed the danger of oversupplying the number of new public flats which could hurt asset values. We do in fact have models that take into account many considerations. Marriages, births, deaths, income levels, economic conditions, cycles, demand for different housing types and so on in trying to project the real demand for flats and of property in general. However, as we all know, it is not a perfect science and it certainly cannot account for sudden shocks and what sudden shocks can cause in terms of human psychology, market behaviour. Responding to calls by the Workers' Party to keep home prices at three times the median annual household income, Mr Lee said the government's aim is to offer different housing options to cater to varying needs from flat buyers. So while the proposal sounds attractive, it ignores the trade-off that far lower prices would attract even more flat applicants, whether they genuinely need housing or not. It also does not address the windfall gains enjoyed by flat buyers, some of whom may be from the higher income levels. And quite apart from first-time BTO sale, how do you ensure the affordability of the resale market over time? That dogmatic proposal does achieve none of that. And so we think this is one-dimensional. Ultimately, Mr Lee stresses the goal is to continue to build a nation of homeowners for future generations. We firmly believe in home ownership as it provides us the stability to build our families and raise our children, give us a sense of rootedness in Singapore and allow us to have a stake in our country's progress. Home ownership has worked for us and we need to continue with the good work to make it work for the next generation. That is why we sell HDB flats on 99-year leasehold, which strikes a balance between providing a home for life asset appreciation and enabling us to rejuvenate our city and build new homes for the next generation too.